At first glance, China's new tilt rotor aircraft seems like a smaller, less impressive version of the American V-22 Osprey. Recent photos of a prototype show an aircraft that's visibly smaller, almost certainly carries less, and likely can't match the Osprey's incredible range. By every traditional metric, it looks like a step down. But don't let the size fool you. This isn't a story about a failed copy. It's about why the small size is precisely what could make this one of the biggest new strategic challenges in the Pacific. For decades, the United States was the only country with operational tilt rotor aircraft, a game-changing technology that blends the best of a helicopter and a plane. Well, that monopoly is officially over. To understand why this smaller aircraft represents such a monumental leap for China, we have to look past the spec sheet and into the real-world scenarios where it might be used. What we're seeing isn't just a new weapon, but a tool that seems purpose-built for a new kind of warfare. So, why is tilt rotor technology considered one of the holy grails of military aviation? For most of history, air power has faced a fundamental trade-off. You could have a helicopter, which gives you incredible flexibility. It can take off and land vertically, what we call VTOL, from almost anywhere, a jungle clearing, a ship's deck, a small patch of desert, no runway needed. But the price for that flexibility is speed and range. Helicopters are notoriously slow and inefficient over long distances, making them sitting ducks over contested airspace. On the other hand, you've got conventional planes. They're fast, fly high, and can travel huge distances. But they're chained to long, prepared runways, massive, vulnerable targets that are often the first thing on an enemy's hit list. The tilt rotor is the answer to this have your cake and eat it too dilemma. It combines a helicopter's vertical takeoff and landing with the speed, range, and altitude of a fixed-wing turboprop. By physically tilting its massive propellers, or proprotors, it lifts straight up like a chopper, and then, once it's airborne, rotates them forward to fly like a plane. The American V-22 Osprey pioneered this, and despite a famously troubled and expensive development, it has proven its worth. It gives U.S. Marines the ability to launch from ships far over the horizon and strike deep inland at speeds no helicopter could dream of. This has been an exclusive American advantage for years. But recent images confirm China has now entered the Tilt Rotor Club, and it looks like they've learned some critical lessons from those who came before. While the program is still in the prototype phase and doesn't have a confirmed public name, what we've seen is incredibly revealing. The new crewed aircraft appears to be in a completely different class from the V-22 Osprey. It's significantly smaller, with observers putting it in a similar size category to the Leonardo AW609, a tilt rotor primarily designed for the civilian market. For comparison, the V-22 has a max takeoff weight of over 52,000 pounds, while the AW609 is closer to 18,000 pounds. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of just copying the Osprey's design, China made a critical engineering choice that signals its true intentions. On the V-22, the entire engine nacelles tilt up and down, a mechanically complex system that has been a source of maintenance headaches. This new Chinese aircraft, however, uses a more advanced approach where the engines stay fixed and only the proprotors themselves pivot. This is the exact same design philosophy used in America's next-generation tilt rotor, the Bell V-280 Valor, and it's a big deal. It dramatically reduces mechanical complexity, which in turn should improve reliability and lower maintenance costs. This isn't a nation just trying to catch up, this is a nation trying to leapfrog a generation of design challenges, prioritizing efficiency over raw size. While official specs for the manned prototype aren't out, we can make some educated guesses based on its size and its unmanned sibling, the UR-6000 drone. It will likely carry around 10 to 12 people, compared to the V-22's 24 or more. Its cruise speed will probably be somewhere in the ballpark of the AW609's 270 knots, or about 500 kilometers per hour. So, on paper, it's smaller and carries less. But its real threat was never about going head-to-head -head with an Osprey. Its power lies in how it could enable China's specific military strategy. The real danger of this new aircraft has nothing to do with a one-on-one -on -one comparison with the V-22. Its strategic value is asymmetric, built around the idea that lots of smaller, flexible assets can be more potent than a few high-end ones. 
First, this aircraft could be the missing piece in China's amphibious assault plans. For years, China has been building a massive fleet of amphibious assault ships, like the Type 075 helicopter carriers. These ships are designed to project power, but they have a weak link. They rely on conventional helicopters, which are slow and have limited range. This new tilt rotor could shatter that limitation. A fleet of these could launch from a Type 075 positioned safely over the horizon, fly at high speed over hundreds of kilometers, and then land vertically to deploy troops or supplies onto multiple, scattered locations at once. In a scenario involving Taiwan or islands in the South China Sea, this capability allows for a rapid, multi-pronged assault that could overwhelm defenses before they even have time to react. Second, it could solve a huge logistical problem for China. Beijing has built numerous fortified outposts on artificial islands in the South China Sea. These bases lack the long runways needed for traditional transport planes, making them hard to resupply, especially under fire. Helicopters are too slow and vulnerable for the long-haul flights. A high-speed tilt rotor is the perfect solution. It could act as a logistical express, rapidly moving personnel, ammunition, and critical supplies between the mainland, naval vessels, and these remote island fortresses. It could turn scattered outposts into a fully networked and sustainable strategic web. Finally, there's the crucial factor of cost and numbers. By choosing a smaller, mechanically simpler design, China is almost certainly aiming for an aircraft that's cheaper to build and easier to maintain than the notoriously complex B-22. This means the People's Liberation Army could potentially field these tilt rotors in huge numbers. The strategic threat isn't one or two elite aircraft, it's the prospect of dozens, or even hundreds, swarming across the region. A hundred smaller tilt rotors, each threatening a different spot, create an infinitely more complex problem for a defender than a dozen larger ones. It forces an adversary to spread their defenses thin, unable to guess where the next punch will land. The emergence of this prototype is more than just the debut of new hardware, it's a clear signal of China's maturing aerospace capabilities and focused military ambition. For years, the PLA has been methodically filling gaps in its arsenal, building a military designed for power projection in the Indo-Pacific. Developing a tilt rotor, especially one with next-gen design features, shows China is no longer just imitating Western tech but is innovating to meet its own strategic goals. The V-22 Osprey will likely remain the king of heavy lift, long-range tilt rotor operations for the foreseeable future. It's a proven, powerful aircraft with capabilities this smaller Chinese platform simply can't replicate. But that's missing the point. This new Chinese aircraft isn't meant to be a direct challenger. Instead, it introduces a completely new dynamic to the region. It has the potential to give the PLA a flexible, rapid, and distributed vertical lift capability it has never had before. It could directly undermine the defensive strategies of the US and its allies, which are often built on controlling key airfields and sea lanes. This aircraft is designed to simply fly over those choke points. Its very existence forces military planners to re-evaluate everything from response times to logistical vulnerabilities. So while it may be tempting to dismiss China's new tilt rotor as a tiny osprey, that would be a serious mistake. Its significance lies not in its size, but in its potential purpose. It's a weapon that appears perfectly tailored to China's evolving strategy of rapid, distributed, and overwhelming power projection. It is a tool designed to exploit the unique geography of the Indo-Pacific and to neutralize long-held Western advantages. What we should be watching for next is how quickly this program moves from a prototype to a production model, and how it gets integrated with China's growing fleet of amphibious assault ships. This aircraft is just the beginning, and it represents a clear and present shift in the future balance of military power. If you found this analysis insightful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the military technology shaping our world. And let us know in the comments, what do you think is the biggest strategic implication of China finally mastering tilt rotor technology?